Okay. Hi there folks, Amy Butchko here again, and we're back. It is now seven and a half hours later, and I have pressure cooked my stock for 45 minutes after soaking it for 45 minutes um, in its nice vinegary water solution. And then I um, let it cool. So most of the effort here was basically just kind of leaving it on the stove and um, letting it sit for about six hours. So I um, now have a container where I've strained out um, some of what was left and right now it's just sort of a brownish mixture of bones and cooked vegetables and if you recall we used carrots, celery, mushrooms and parsley. Um, there is no onion in cat stock because cats can't handle onions or garlic so feel free to add those to human stock but don't put them in your cat stock. So okay, so that's um, what, we, what went into it and how we did it. And then what was left after the fact was this lovely broth. And I'm gonna take this and just pour it right in to this jar so that you can see what our finished product looks like. And as you can see, the pressure cooker does make a nice dark broth. I strained out any sediment. Um, there's no foam or any kind of scum that ends up on the broth, so this one looks really good. Um, I will refrigerate this overnight, and if anything sort of rises to the top that doesn't look very good, I will strain it out before I put it into the cat food. But this is what we need for the cats tomorrow, and um, as you can also see, it's a little bit less water, a little bit less liquid than what went into the pressure cooker. Quite a bit does evaporate out, but that just intensifies how um, those nutrients are concentrated into your stock. Um, so I'm really excited that this is now done and I'm thrilled to have you here watching. So um, remember to check us out on the YouTube channel and at wellnessworksllc.net. For now, I'm Amy Butchko and I look forward to seeing you next time.